and Contessa Brewer, we are getting reports in about possible bomb threats abo aboard two Air France flights traveling from the United States to Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. One flight reportedly, Air France Flight 65, was traveling from Los Angeles to Paris. It was forced to make an emergency landing in Salt Lake City. We're also hearing about another Air France flight, Flight 55, forced to land in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Chris Van Cleve is on the phone right now. Chris, what are you able to learn? Well, what I can tell you is that sources say both flights received telephonic bomb threats tonight, uh, and that then prompted the diversion to Salt Lake City and to Halifax. The flight out of Los Angeles is described as an Airbus A380. That's the super jumbo jet, the two-decker airplane. That's a pr pretty big airplane. The flight out of Washington Dulles Airport is typically a triple seven. Um, that's a that's supported diverted. Excuse me, diverted to Halifax. Uh, that's sort of one of your last airport, last uh, resort airports as you're flying over the Atlantic. Uh, Salt Lake City, of course, on the way between Los Angeles and France. In both of these cases, there was a a bomb threat phoned in on these two flights. Uh, it sounds like this was done out of an abundance of caution as opposed to a belief that there was a bomb on board. However, given what's happened in Paris and what happened in the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt, you have to exercise an abundance of caution. We are getting pictures in um, on social media from some of the passengers who either are at the airports and showing us what the emergency response is like surrounding these planes um, or, or from passengers who are on the planes themselves. Okay, it's notable, first of all, that this is an Air France flight. Uh, and, you know, when we looked at 9-11 about the airplanes that were hijacked, they were United and American Airlines. Their names alone captured the American imagination and clearly that of the terrorists. So, again, these are Air France flights coming from the United States and heading to France. We're also seeing reports on social media um, from one person named Trevor who said, we just emergency landed and there's cops everywhere. Uh, someone who says that there was uh, an arrest that was made in Salt Lake City. Um, and again, an emergency landing. We're working to confirm some of the details that people are putting in these, uh, in their tweets here. And again, so, and it, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Contest. I was going to say, certainly if a plane diverts for a bomb threat, you are going to see a heavy police and emergency vehicle presence when that plane touches down, because the assumption is going to be that there's at least the possibility of an explosive on that aircraft. It's important to note that before anybody boards a, a flight out of a U.S. airport, that there is a significant vetting process that happens. So anyone who is on a watch list, in theory, should have already been checked days before they ever got on board that flight. Uh, baggage is checked to the manifest to make sure that the people on board the plane match up with the people who checked bags. So there are processes in place to make sure that a device doesn't get on board an airplane uh, like happened in Lockerbie in the Pan Am uh, bombing uh, that appears to maybe have happened in the Metrojet bombing. And, yet, and Chris, uh, there, there you... are measures in place to make sure that doesn't happen. But that said, if there is a, a bomb threat made against an airplane, you will see an emergency landing and you'll see a strong police presence. If you think back to this summer, we had a rash of these where people, as like a prank, called these in uh, against a, a host of airliners. And each time it resulted in an emergency landing and a heavy police presence. Okay, so we're going to continue to watch this and, and work to get some more information. Here's where things stand right now. Uh, we, it looks like we have two Air France flights, both of them originating from the United States, one from LAX, one from Washington, D.C., both heading for Paris. Both have had bomb threats called in, and out of an abundance of caution, uh, we, it looks like those have been diverted, emergency landings, and now the security process in place to find out whether those threats are credible, uh, whether there's anything to them, and whether the passengers and crew have been safe the whole time.